We begin tonight with a new depiction of an inmate killed in the Bear County Jail. The mother of Alexander Wise says he wasn't the former white supremacist gang member that has been described. Wise was found in his cell Thursday at the Bear County Jail with head and facial injuries. His cellmate, Chandrick Buckley, is facing a capital murder charge for his death. The night team's Garrett Berger talks to Wise's mother about his death and her concerns. Wanda Wise only had sporadic contact with her son since he moved to San Antonio from Michigan a few years ago. Then this week, she learned of his death in jail. I was horrified. You know, I was just in shock. But she's also upset at how he's been described. In a news conference this week, Sheriff Javier Salazar said Alexander Wise was believed to be a former member of the Aryan Brotherhood. However, Wanda Wise says as far as she knows, her son was never in the white supremacist gang. She said he did have a tattoo with a Nazi symbol, but it was in opposition, not support. Well, it was a swastika, and he had a big red bar running through it to say no. KSAT found photos posted to Facebook in 2016 that seemed to closely match his mother's description of the tattoo in one, and then show it incorporated into a larger design in a second photo. Due to the offensive nature of the swastika, we aren't showing those images. And in any case, Wanda Wise doesn't think her son, who was in for nonviolent offenses, should have been in the cell with Shandrick Buckley, who was in on a murder charge. And here's a white boy with a, uh, the Nazi emblems, but, and then you stick him in with a, a volatile black man. You, know, you would almost expect a clash, wouldn't you? Salazar said Wise had been moved to the cell with Buckley in the maximum security area after he had been involved in a violent disturbance with other inmates earlier that day. And Buckley also assaulted a deputy a few days earlier, the sheriff said. But nothing popped up to indicate they might be incompatible cellmates. There's only so much we can do with people that have a violent history or a uh, organized crime history. There's only so many places we can put them in this jail. Just a few minutes ago, I got off the phone with a BCSO spokesman. He tells us that jail staff documented Wise's gang affiliation based on information they got during the intake interview. And Wise's mother also tells us that her son once told her that sometimes you had to link up with a group while behind bars, though she didn't know if he ever had. Live at the Bear County Jail, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.